السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از ہسٹوری گرام ہسٹوری گرام از بیسیکلی لائن چارٹ وین ایور یو آر گیون ون ویریبل ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا ٹائم اسکیل اٹ مے بی ڈیٹ منتھ ایئر کوارٹر ڈے اور ایون ٹائم then uh, such kind of data is uh, handled in histogram for example i will present you uh, two questions here which uh, are 2.28 and 2.29 in 2.28 you can uh, see the years are given and uh, gross profit and expenses two quantitative variables are given but one is the time uh, variable in 2.29 you can see there are months in one column so um, independent variable or x variable is uh, related to the time and uh, against the time variable two quantitative variables imports and exports are given so we will consider um 2.29 in which months imports and exports are given uh, in the statement you can see there is a, um, a suitable graph there is it is mentioned that make a suitable graph and 2.29 show graphically so none of these uh, two uh, graphs shown that uh, story gram is required but one should know that whenever one variable is related to time we have to make the history gram open spss file and open the variable view and define variable first in first column i am writing here months and uh, the variable is of date type and months even you can uh, specify it as a string but uh, now i am writing here it's date so the look into the format there are different formats but appropriate one is uh, only the months name which are not given yes this is january february this is the format which is required for this type of data in which months are mentioned in the whole name the longest one having nine letters therefore the width of um, this type of variable is taken as nine and uh, in the next column mayer nominal we are not mayering here the duration or any time variable which is of numeric type imports and in next exports we have to uh, write labels with punctuation properly so that we can view these uh, labels in our graphs months of a year or even i can write 12 months in a year because they are from 9 january uh, april to march imports imports of the year 1960 to 61 i am also uh, writing here the year as uh, 1960 dash 61 imports in crore of rupees i'm editing it i just copy paste in exports e should be capital exports in crore of rupees now come to the data view and enter the data from uh, this file and after entering data i will meet you again since data is given in whole numbers that's why Uh, decimal should be zero both uh, 
uh, scales of import and exports should be of scale type because they are measured in rupees, crore of rupees. Now we have entered the data into the SPSS file. For uh, constructing the historiogram, we click on the graphs, then chart builder. Select uh, uh, from um, bottom left window, there are so many uh, different graphs and uh, our required is not histogram, it's historiogram, which is not mentioned here. So we will click on the line. This is the line. We are given two columns, exports and imports. Uh, therefore, we uh, click here in the multiple lines. And uh, whenever it is double clicked, it will be chosen and selected in the uh, top window. Now we select months and drag it and take it at X axis. Imports and import, exports both should be in the count data. First this one and exports are uh, clicked and dragged at plus sign. And then, okay, both are measured. Now we click, okay. We are given, now we have, this is our imports and exports in which January to December months are given along the x-axis and different values of imports and exports are measured along y-axis. This is our legend and imports are represented by blue line and exports are represented by red line. If we want to uh, edit it, we have to double click this, then chart editor will be open and we can uh, change anything, uh, the color, the legends, the title, labels, anything. You can observe that months of the year 1960 to 61, which is the x-axis label, uh, is uh, actually the label of the months. So if you properly um, define the variables in the variable view, then uh, automatically uh, labels are uh, representing here in the graph, the x-axis. This is uh, the middle line after uh, which is in, in the center of the whole um, figure. This is a line which can be in the middle of the y-axis. We can uh, choose these lines to read different values easily. This is the title, add the title. You can add title in the um, historiogram. So we can write here, um, I am deleting the word title and writing here historiogram showing imports and exports during 19 60-61. So this is our title. We can change the color of the title. Just select it. Writing in red color and apply. This is the fill. We can write the textile, for example, text color is black, by default it is black, but I'm writing here yellow and apply. So this is the historiogram showing imports, exports in, during the 1960 to 61, fill and border variables, which variables are going to be uh, selected so, so we have selected both of them if there are more variables we can add them from here and these lines are the interpolation lines which are added here chart size can be changed so we are going to close it 
we can uh, uh, make the horizontal view of this graph and again clicking uh, the same icon will convert it into the vertical style x we can edit any one month from here x mean select x axis which are not required for example july we don't want to see the result of the july so by deleting it come down and then apply you can see july is not uh, here anymore so january if it is also not required we cross it and apply so remaining months are mentioning in the graph in the same way you can exclude the y values from the y axis which are not required and uh, this one is um, for the grid so this one make uh, the grid and uh, excluding y values excluding x values make it horizontal add legend and removing the legend add the interpolation line this is the interpolation line which which helps you in reading the graph for example i am clicking this one this one you can see all points are now uh, easily can be read from this graph so there are different interpolation lines jumps spline for example this one apply this you can read these values from here and you can even write your numbers here by adding text this is the text line you can write the value of text here by clicking this value a text box will be added here and this arrow shows the value is this one which you will mention here so these are all the uh, options which you can opt to represent your graph in a better way so you can make graph and then edit it you can whenever we cross this chart editor all changes which we have made in the graph remains in our output and so uh, it will come in the output window you can save it you can copy it in anywhere in your word file or any uh, excel file so this is the histogram that's all for today thank you so much for watching this video allah hafiz